Hi, this is John Shaknovsky, president of the Sport Corner CM Hockey League. I want to personally thank all of you, fans, players, everyone watching on TV, for your support in the 2019-2020 Sport Corner SHL season. We've had some ups and downs this year. We've had a visit by Humboldt Bronco Ryan Trasnitsky, and we had the passing of our good friend Jason Kotzmeyer. And in between, we had some really, really great hockey. But this is it. Tonight is it. Tonight is the CM Hockey League Championship, and this is Hockey Night in Thailand. <laughs> Central World, Ramanai in Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome to one of the few hockey games still going on in the world. And probably the only broadcasting one going live. And welcome to Hockey Night in Thailand. This is the final game between Peak and Novotel for the Siam Hockey League Championship. And welcome. I'm Keith Mueller and Lance and uh, Jordan will be joining us in just a moment. But right now we're going to go down to the kids. Somebody go wave the kids on, and we're going to go to them right now. Here, just, here, give them, a, give them the hat. You're on. Okay. I am here with the captain of Peak, uh, Harrison Osmel. So uh, what are your keys to the game? Uh, I think we got to skate fast. Okay. we got to play hard. I'm gonna play a full 60 minutes, you know. This is a good team. Oh, 52 minutes or whatever we play. I think we, it's a good team. we got to bring full effort the whole game. Um, and what are your thoughts on probably one of the best goalies in the league? I'm um, in goal for um, Novotel. I think you mean for peak? I don't know who that is over there. <laughs> uh, do you trust Gabor in goal? Absolutely. I don't know if you guys saw him in the first round. He made a bunch of key big saves. Gabor's our rock. Thank you. Yeah, good luck, Paul. Thank you. Is that good? All right, talk, talk. Keep going, talk. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get Brad Wilson over here. And we're waiting for Brad Wilson as they're getting the red carpet out. And uh, while we're doing that, uh, Lance is uh, with us. And uh, Jordan. Uh, so we'll, we'll be ready with the, in the game in just a moment. Again, welcome. This is the uh, SHL Championship Final, Peak and Novotel, live from Bangkok, Thailand. We're glad you're joining us. And here goes Brad, uh, and here we go. I am with the captain of Novotel, Brad Wilson. How's it going, Cole? How are you today? Good. Uh, good. Uh, so, uh, so what are your keys to the game? 
Uh, we got to skate. We got to forecheck, backcheck, get physical. Um, don't give them time and space, and I think we can do well. Uh, how are you going to get to one of the best goals in the league? It's Gabor. We're just going to skate. <laughs> now, and what are your thoughts on having probably the best goalie in the league? I really like it. It's so nice. I love Leo. Okay, thank you. Thanks, buddy. That was great. All right, welcome back. Okay, I'll let it go right to you guys right now. Okay. We'll these guys on the air. Here we go, and you're up. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the only hockey game that's going on right now. Still not canceled, the SHL playing the final game here. Uh, myself, Lance Parker, and... Jordan Nash. Jordan Nash did. That's you right. Before, right. Yeah, yeah I wasn't oh, yeah. sure if I didn't introduce <laughs> myself. <laughs> I remember uh, the first team we ever played on together, I think, was in a tournament. And I remember you had this jersey that was three times your size. You were wearing Alex Manton's jersey. You looked like a, like a kid working like a, uh, wearing an, a grown-up jersey there. Yeah, it was quite the parachute. And <laughs> helped hit the brakes. But, yes, this is uh, for sure the only hockey league going on right now. We have our championship game. And we're going forward with it, and we expect a doozy. We have uh, Peak versus Novotel, two powerhouses who had really good playoffs. And uh, I'd expect nothing less of a great game. Yeah, these two uh, went head-to-head -head all season, I believe, going uh, first and second. Then, of course, we pulled ahead in the end there and took the number one spot. But mostly it was between these two guys. Yeah, and... Of course, final game, both teams, full squads. Uh, just looking at Novotel, they're more of a defensive team. They really rely on their goaltending. And if P can get the puck moving and get a few quick ones by Leo, they'll be in business. They have some sharp shooters and some, some great skill up front. Novotel's not looking too bad either. Starting lineup, we've got Jason Bitter. He's always in the right, sp right spot in front of the net there. We've got uh, Friesen and Bredesen. Both guys tallied up a lot of points this season. And we can expect to see them do that tonight. Our captains for each side, we have Harrison, who's back from a leg injury. First time he's been on the ice in about five weeks. Shot on net just wide. And on the other side, we have Brad, who I for sure will think he'll log a lot of minutes on the defense and try and stop these shooters for peak. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure we'll see a lot of block shots tonight from the defense and the offense. Let's see how it goes. Peak coming in, puck into the corner, shot around the net. Jason Bitter after it. 
He's got Jessa. No, he's got uh, Harrison to can contend with. Here comes Mike Friesen. He's got Bill Bredson on his side. But Mel beats it to him. Beats him to it. And Mike Friesen picks the puck up again across the line. Shot. Gabber deflects it out with the blocker. So let's talk about the, uh, the, the, the line up here tonight. Yeah, working the lines tonight, we have Jeremy and Ulm, two consistent refs. Let's talk about the, the up tonight. And we're going to talk about our lineups a bit. Of course, we've mentioned our captains, Harrison and Brad. And our leading point getters on each side is Jesse and Mike Friesen. So look out for them. Shoveled toward the net. Another another shot and a rebound saved by Gabor. And we've got a whistle on the play. Oh, it looks like a penalty here. We have a trip on Gabor. He made two good saves, recovered the rebound, but didn't let his uh, opponent chase the puck there. So. Our goaltenders tonight are Gabor for Peak and Leo who for Novotel, who certainly got their team through the first round, only let in two goals in two games. Uh, the second game was a huge shutout, 40 stops, I believe. And Gabor's no slouch either. He, he shows up in big games, so it'll be quite the battle. No doubt about it. So here we have Peak shorthanded coming down. Novotel regroups, breaks into the zone. Fluttered on on net, easy stop for Gabber. Behind the net, almost in front, but not quite. And we have another whistle, cross-checking. It looks like it's on Yin, so Novotel is going to get an early five on three. Yin cross-checked the Novotel player into the net. Didn't let him chase the puck. Could have been interference or a cross check. But it looks like they're calling a tight game, and we got a five on three here. And don't forget, you're watching us live on at ThailandTV.tv. Shot on net. No rebound. As we said, this is the only hockey happening right now. If you have any friends that would like to watch, send them a link. And give us a shout. Bradley Wilson off the draw. He almost shot. Hesitated. Wide of the net. Big, big bounce. Off of the defenseman. Puck still in. Bill Bredesen. Blocked again by Patrick. Offense, not defense, but very defensive right now. Bradley passes it over. Bill battling in hard in front of the net. Oh, yeah. Mike Friesen looking. Oh, onto the stick. But Jason Bitter was covered. Couldn't quite get it off. Yeah, that was a nice pass there by Friesen. Back door for Bitter, but couldn't exchange. Oh. Puck loose. Did it go across the line? The rest says it didn't. Oh, just sitting on the line there. Yeah, solid shot from the slot. Novotel has had about four shots. We still have Novotel on a five on three here. All right, so puck behind the net. Marcel passes it back behind the net again in the corner. Across to the blue line. Broken up in the corner. Novotel's got possession again. Kaylee dumps it in. Soft on net. And John taps it out down to the other end. Five Penalty's seconds. almost over. We're almost back to even strength now. Puck comes up to the line, up to the center ice. Over the blue line, coming in. 
Pass in front, nothing happening. Shot, great chance. Good stop. Gabber covers up. Yeah, that's a wasted no. That's a wasted Novotel opportunity. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, this is the Siam Hockey League Championship game. This is the highest league in Bangkok. A lot of expats, a lot of Thai players, a lot of skill, a lot of fun. Uh, we play usually about twice a week, and we're in the finals after our semifinal series. Our league does a one-game final. We try to get as many attendees out watching as we can and have our banquet afterwards. Here comes Novotel again, deep in the zone. Yin out of the box. Looks like he's going to go to end-to-end. -end. Comes in into the corner and loses the puck picks it up back again shot oh big fan and check goes all the way down. stick there not the guy you want to give it up uh, a one time or two at the point the <laughs> deck has a bomb but he missed yeah it there. he'll roof that in a corner if he gets that chance brad wilson puts the puck up the boards a little too hard mel picks it up Cuts in front, passes it up. That was close to too many men on the ice there for a peak. It's not what they need now. They've already had two minor penalties. So peak has yet to register a shot on net. Shots 9-0 for Novotel. Yeah, those two penalties early in the first really bit them. They, they don't have any momentum right now. This is working out perfect for Novotel. This is exactly the type of game they want to play. Slow things down, block shots, and capitalize on their chances in the slot. All right, here we go. Patrick Forsner coming in. Goes around, wrap around, shot. Leo's not quite sure. Seems to be in between the pads there, and sure it is. Yeah, Patrick turning on the Jets there a bit. That's what this peak team needs. That's what makes them successful. And with the wraparound. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, hi, Shirley. With the wraparound chance, and Leo bobbled it a bit, but collected. So here we go. Puck behind the Novotel net. Back to the blue line. Shot on. Leo couldn't hold on to it. And Jason Bitter gets it out. Almost up to Mike. Mike does have it. He's got Bill Bredesen with him. Can't quite make the pass. And Peek turns it around and then gives it back to Novotel. Good stick there by Mel. Two on one chance coming in. Usually Friesen gets those through. Bitter in the corner. In front to Ryan Yaden. Ryan flips it up. And that is going to be a penalty. That was in his zone. It went directly out. We have another penalty to peak. Ryan doesn't seem to. Oh, there he is. Okay, I didn't think he was going to actually go over there, but there you go. There he goes. Playing the not way. guilty card. <laughs> but that went directly out, so that's a delay of game. Another power play opportunity for Novotel. You'd have to think they really have to capitalize on this one in order to oh, for sure. grab a stranglehold on the game. Marcel taking the draw. He's on an eight-game scoring streak, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or no, no, he's got a lot of goals. Maybe a six-game goal scoring streak. I can't quite remember. But look out for him to put that puck high up there. Bradley Wilson brings it in. Looks in front. Almost deflected it off Gabber's stick there. Um, yeah. picks up the puck. I think Novotel needs to get a bit more movement on their power play. Brad's skating it in, but everyone was standing in the same spot. So, got to get these D-men working a bit. Oh, Brad fans on it. Steven Spruill pumps it back in. But Brad outskates him to the puck, goes behind. Takes a look. Novotel up to center. Bowens picks it up over the line. Shot, deflected, wide of the net. Peak gets it out barely. 
And Pan with the big shot on net, right into the logo. Not much happening for Novotel out there right now. Remember, we are on Facebook, ThailandTV.tv. You're watching the SHL championship game. If you're watching, give us a shout out and a comment. We have Keith a lot of really loves right now, the so comments, so uh, <laughs> he's quite excited if you have something to say. As he likes to say, let us know where you're from and uh, yeah, drop us a line. And just to clarify, Shirley is my mom. <laughs> I said hi, Shirley, but it definitely should have been a hi, mom. I love you lots. Okay, okay. 540 left here in the first period. Still 0-0. 36 seconds left in the Novotel power play. Three wasted opportunities if they go here without scoring. Yeah, they're trying to go five hole on Gabber, which is not usually the best move to do, I don't think. Um, not sure about you, but I think going up high on this guy is the best way to go. And they're trying to beat him between the legs. But he covers a lot of space down there. Yeah, higher blocker side for sure. Gabor is the goalie that plays the butterfly. Goes down at every opportunity. Hideki in. Just wide of the net. Almost in front to Patrick. Novotel shot on net. High and wide. Jason Bitter picks up the bounce. Passes back in front. Puck into the corner. Peak picks it up. Dumps it into center. Up to Patrick. Patrick can't quite get a handle on it. Here comes Yeen. Expect a big shot. That wasn't as powerful as he can usually let it off. And here comes Novotel again. Shot on. Rebound. Gabber pokes it out. Up to Harrison. He's got John and Steve. He shoots it. Bounces off Brad's shin pad. Here comes Novotel again. Another shot off the shin pad. Puck into the corner behind the net. Battle. And John puts it up to Harrison. Harrison passes it over to Steven. He misses the puck. Picks it up again. And dumps it in. And Harrison and Brad battle for it. A couple good buds right there. Brad's really letting him have it. It doesn't matter that he was injured the past couple weeks. It's the championship now. Collected there by Leo. All right. We Dale Yarnboom from comments. Detroit, Michigan. Oh, I hope hey, thanks for tuning right in. There in Detroit. Good to see some hockey on TV. Go Brad Wilson. Yeah, he's going to Hong Kong. Rooting for Peak to win this game. Hart. Watching from Singapore. Lester Choi. Watching from Bangkok. Too tired to watch at Central. I watched during the first rounds of the playoffs. All right, thanks, Mika. Right on. So we know my mom is cheering for Brad. <laughs> who uh, happened to beat me out the last round. So I, I got to be honest, I'm cheering for him too. Yep. I used to play for this Pitfires uh, first season here. So uh, my soft spot is uh, for these guys, especially Jason Bitter and Bradley Wilson. Um, but yeah, may the best team win. Friends on both sides, so it's really hard to pick. Uh, but you, you like going for the underdog, and there they go, up high. That was B Billy Bredson, I believe. Over yeah. Gabber's glove, into the corner. Bit of a rolling puck there that just squirted to him on the side of the net, and he shelved it. Like we said, Gabor goes down, you gotta shoot high. They yeah. might have found the recipe. Novotel needed that. The shots are 12-2 in the period, and that's their first goal. So they're, sorry, 14-2. So they're really taking it to Peak, but I had nothing to show for it. All right, Peak wins the draw. Hideki and Yin pass it back and forth. Comes into the zone. Shot high and wide and out. That faceoff's going to be inside. Went off Leo's glove, so... We'll have an offensive zone face-off for Peak with one minute and 30 seconds left. Yeah, Pun had the good idea, putting it high up there again on Leo. Got, had him moving around a bit, but just a little bit too wide on that shot. Peak wins the draw again. 
Yin dumps it in. Looking for a tip. Nothing happening. Hideki circles around. Holds on to the puck. Passes it back behind the net. And we've got Peak circling around. Off to the side. It's almost like a power play out there. The control they have. Yeah, that's what Novotel does. They sit back and protect their house, block as many shots as they can. They'll let you skate around their zone, but as soon as you funnel it towards the net, they'll collapse. So Yin and Hideki passes it up to Jesse Starosta. Taken down by Marcel Bowens. Gabber's not happy about that. Jesse seems to be okay. Puck battled along... The board's there. And out to center. And puck dumped in. Om um, fans on it. Jesse picks it up in front. And Novotel safely dumps it out. Quite the chance there at the end of the period with a lackadaisical move behind the net. Five seconds left. Shot from far out. Leo's able to track it. Hold on to it. And, and we will go to commercial. Thank you for joining us for the first time. Put your hands up, everybody know that. Don't hold back, got you on go, Jack. Go, DJ. That's my DJ. Party on me, play. Party on me, play. Welcome back to Bangkok to the SHL Finals. This is for sure the only hockey going on right now. If you're locked down, if you're quarantined, or just staying home because you want to feel safe, flick on the SHL. Tell us you're watching. We'll give you a shout out. And we're going to get back to the second period action here. one nothing Novotel. Peak wins another draw. Harrison coming in hard. Puck along the boards there. Novotel picks it up. Passes it up along the side of the boards. And out. Christian Olsen picks up the puck. Up to Harrison again. That is broken up. Mike Friesen. He's got the puck coming in. Plenty of defense to contend with. But he still puts the puck on that. Big rebound. Wow. Not far from that corner. Almost the same spot they scored in the last time. Great chance. Friesen just funneling that puck on net. Rebound came to Brad, and he just missed the top corner. Novotel goes behind the net. Looks to bring it out of the zone. Brad Wilson dodges a couple of players, passes it up to Bill. Bill dishes it off to Friesen. Friesen to the boards, to himself, to Alistair. Alistair puts it in front, but not quite connecting. Billy Bredson picks up the pass and gets a shot off Marcel oh, almost connects with Bill almost poked it in that far side there and here comes Patrick Forstner but he's broken up into the corner oh almost a funny bounce and Peek can't quite put it on net Still only four shots here for Peak. We're almost in the middle of the second period. They've been using their speed to get to the outside, but haven't been able to put the puck towards the net. Here it is. Good save by Leo. And Hideki passes it back. Big block. Marcel stacking the shin pads. Laying it on the line for the championship. Puck goes back into the corner. Battling for it. Behind the net, peak. Passed in front, shot between the legs. 
goal. And Hideki sneaks a quick one in the slot through Leo's legs. I believe that's the first goal Leo's given up in a game and a half. Sounds about right. So we'll yep. see if that gets to his head a bit. We got a 1-1 game, 14 minutes left in the second period. Peak scores on only their sixth shot on goal. They haven't been able to generate much, but we're back to square one. Friesen wins the draw, but Peak takes over. Dean holds on to the puck, fans on it. Bill Bredson chasing him hard. But he passes it up. Leo playing with the puck in front. Passes it off to his player. He goes up. Yeen's got a hold of the puck again. Takes a look. Steven picks it up. In front. Not quite on net. Jesse tries the same. Oh no, he puts it on net. Easy stop for Leo. I thought he was going to try to pass it to one of his players, but instead he put it on the goalie looking for a rebound instead. Behind the net. Nobody there. Ian handles the puck. And the two players force him out. And Ian dumps it back in. Novotel gains possession. Pass to Steven Spruill. And Jason Bitter gets a chance to redeem himself. Passes the puck up. Broken up. Friesen picks up the loose ends. Shot between the legs of Yeen. But Gaber gets the blocker on it. Jesse Strosta breaking in. Pass in front. Oh! Patrick almost puts it on the blocker side. Excellent save coming across there. That was a beauty. Yeah. Yeah, Leo saw that one all the way. Patrick takes the puck. Cuts in front. Almost. Another block by Marcel. That's just the Novotel culture. Lots of blocks, taking away lanes, and great goaltending. Here we have him coming back the other way. Marcel loses the puck. Peak gains possession. Comes across center. Over the blue line. Another fan. Usually there's not so many... Uh, Missed shots or fans, but uh, tonight there seemed to quite a bit. A bit of nerves going on, some jitters happening with some of the players, I believe. Peek has the puck. Dumps it in. Mike Friesen picks it up. Off the boards to himself again. Takes a look. Friesen's paying a very He's playing a very patient game. Holding on to the puck a lot. Picking his chances when he should. Conserving energy. I think he's going to be on the ice a lot. Oh, almost a lucky bounce. He put it on Gabber. But it didn't quite make it in the net. Bradley Deep. Wilson comes across the line. Broken up. Bill, back to freezing. A nice... Oh, so close. Bradley Friesen. keep it in on the net there. Shoveled it high corner, but it looks like we're going to have a penalty here. And it is Jason Bitter. So Novotel is going to go to the PK. Peak is going to go to the power play. We Watana have some Patanan watching from Thailand. Old Ron Watt, Yadin how you doing? watching from Seattle. Go, Ryan, go. Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Probably the dad of the uh, Thailand Tarp specialty, Ryan Yaden. <laughs> the Andrew Ross tuned in from Joaquin. Fresh off happy hour at the pub. Great game so far. And that is, of course, Andrew Ross, defenseman of Aware, who's been eliminated. I wonder if he would have been at the pub if his team made it. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, we have power play. Peak. Chance to go ahead. Hideki Nagayama holds on to the puck, takes a look. Puck gets broken up. Novotel dumps it out. Yin holds on to the puck. Takes a look around. Up to Hideki again. 
Hideki coming in on the side, puts on the brakes, spins around. Patrick knocks the stick out of the player's hand while carrying the puck. Peek keeps it in. Pass over. Bradley blocking it. Hideki on the side. Pass over, shot, oh! In the net stop. Leo went so hard to the uh, left side. Knocked the net off. Some more comments here. We have one from Gregory, watching from Raleigh, North Carolina. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, just trying to catch a glimpse of Brad Wilson's Oh, I know lettuce. Gregory. Gregory <laughs> had a night. Gregory and I had a really good night at a Korean restaurant, among some other places. That's Brad's buddy. He's a beauty. Yeah, right on. Puck up, rebound. Puck in the corner. Peak on the line. Off to the side. Blocked by the shin pads. Here we come again. Peak tries to put it in front. But Leo says, Leo's not having any of that. No, we have some good puck movement here by Peak on the power play. Specifically from Pat. Yeah. Don't forget to check out our website, www.samhockeyleague.com. And if you want to check out Dom's writings slash blog, you can find lots of info about uh, all the league there. Here we go. Mel cuts across. And shot on net, but not quite uh, there. I think it was broken up by Bradley, if I'm not mistaken. Gaber passes it to the right player. Mike Friesen, Spinorama, still has it. And we're back at even strength. So some chances there for Peak. Couldn't capitalize. Harrison blows the tire. You can't help but think that fractured foot's weighed on him a bit. Hot shot Peak. there from Friesen. Oh, yeah, big shot. And Peek clears it out. Bradley Wilson passes it over to Alistair. Punked up in. And Hideki Namiyama, Nagayama picks up the puck. Looks Goes like around one player. Here. Another. Two more to go around. Can he do it? Goes behind the net. Takes a look. Pass in front. Shot. Oh, Leo what? was going one way, stretched out, and got the glove on that puck. What a glove save. That was amazing. Um, Shout out cameraman. to our cameraman. Let's Talk International. You can find him at www.buzzspout.com. Slash 650-656. Another shot on net, and the yeah. puck squeaks Maybe. out. Maybe write that website down. <laughs> That'd be a little easy to forget. But I wonder if the numbers weren't taken. Maybe it's his favorite. I'm not sure. But an amazing camera guy nonetheless. Yeah. An amazing shot on net. And a great stop by Leo. And, of course, you're joined here by Lance and Jordan. If you're watching us at ThailandTV.tv, give us a shout-out. This has been fun. We're uh, for sure not professionals, so don't expect us to be. <laughs> yes. We bumble over each other quite a bit, but we'll try and keep you engaged and laughing. And don't forget, there's always a mute button if you really don't like <laughs> us. No doubt about it. Oh, Brad, long shot on net. Gabber deflects it wide. Peak has possession. Comes across center. Patrick Forstner, Brad on him hard. And Alistair stands him up. Puck loose in front. Brad clears out the front of the net. Eddie hits the dust. <laughs> Mel picks up the puck. He's got pun to contend with. And deflection out of play. It must have hit the net. Andrew Ross says, Brad Wilson is retiring from the SHL after this season. Make a run at Mini Flota. Thanks for that information, Andrew. <laughs> Have another one, bud. <laughs> Still happy hour, I bet. Harrison brings it in. 
It's forced into the corner. He's still got possession. Holding on to it. And broken up. Mike Friesen coming in. Against Christian. Passes back to Jason Bitter. Puck broken up. Pick. Passes it to Novotel. Mike Friesen's got it again. Takes a look. And tries that no-look shot on the net. Almost got away with it. And puck dumped out to center. Yeah, not a high percentage play, but if you're a good hockey player like him, it's worth a shot. Oh, yeah. I say good, not great. Uh, he is great. He's uh, their leading point getter on the team and goal scorer, and he drives this offense for sure. We have Puck in the corner, yeah. Behind the net. Battling. Novotel brings it out. Across the line, shot. Big rebound. Yin picks it up. And Peek takes control behind the net. Passes it back into the corner. Hideki's looking around. Up to Yin is uh, unusually high. Into the corner. How high? <laughs> He's quite tall, that guy. Maybe one of the highest players here. <laughs> Physically speaking, shot on net. Gaber blocker save. Battle in the corner. Marcel and John Chaknosk. Your Bill, or uh, Ed McConnell. Battling hard and puck back into the corner, getting lost in the ditch there. Dug out. And puck bounces around in the corner. On the line, Brad Wilson tries to make a pass, but well wide. Might pay for that. Here comes Patrick looking to split the D. Great stick there by Alistair. Nice defensive play. Taking away the opportunity. And the puck goes out in front. Novotel takes control. We've got two and a half minutes left here. Comes across, shot up high. And Gaber... A Patrick Wall like the save air. there. Flipping the glove in. <laughs> Giving it to the fans a bit. Love it. Yeah, glad he didn't do the Statue of Liberty there, showing off that puck and potentially dropping it. Well, you know, I think Novotel has to get more traffic. They, uh, they have a lot of puck possession, but it's all in the perimeter. They're not sending anyone towards the net. Brad wide again, a little bit too high for a tip. John Chapnowski over the line. Mike Friesen picks it up. Coming across with Bill Bredesen. Shot up high. Love hand. Dead Gaber moving around. Had him falling down and put it right up there. That is a set break in. They crossed. Bill take a look at some space from the peak defenders. Christian got crossed up. Wasn't sure whether to stick with Friesen or take Bill coming across and Friesen got some room for himself and shelved it. Not so sure about the song game. choice here. <laughs> yeah, quite depressing. <laughs> should be a should be a like pumped moment, no? Who's that DJ? And Gabber holds on to the puck. The Adele sorry song should be saved for the when you get a penalty. Oh nice, thank you, Pat. It was a great save. And you're saving this broadcast too. You're always a loyal watcher. So welcome, even though your grandson's not Oh, and we got a goal. Is that Bill Bredesen? That is. Second goal of the game, shoveled in front by Bill. Nicely placed in front. They finally get some traffic and poke one home. They got a 2-1 lead. 20 seconds left. Yeah, Bill Bredesen, one of the top scorers for Novotel. Him and Mike Friesen, uh, leading goal scorers. So not surprised to see them putting the puck in the net there. I'd really like to see the guy's iPod. He's got to have something else. All right, time for a commercial. Don't go away.
Well, speaking from experience, this is for sure not where Peak wants to be. Leo can steal a third period, no problem. Let's see how well he does. Peak really needs to start getting some pressure here and more shots on net. Only 13 shots on net through two periods. Whereas Nova held 26 and converted on three of them. We've got a 3-1 score, third period. Ready to rock here in Bangkok. If you're watching us at thailandtv.tv, give old Lance and I a shout out. Tell us whatever you want. Oh. we got one here from hey, Mom. Anita Parker. Tuning She's in from all the way from Kuwait Ontario. And Ontario. I don't even know how to say that goddamn <laughs> town's name. We call Kiwatin. it Kuwait in Canada, Kiwat in Minnesota. All right, there you go. And Pat Vic tuning in once again. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, we, Mom. We need her at ice level. It's actually <laughs> Brandon Vic's grandma. Okay, here comes Peak. Puck in the Novotel zone. Behind the net. Shot up. Tough angle, but... Yeah, you got to put it on the net. And here we go again. Another block by Marcel. Beak with some needed pressure here to start the third. Flipped out and cleared by Novotel. Hideki Nakayama picks up the puck behind the net. Looks to go end to end. Full of speed. Shot up. A little too high there. Luckily the puck didn't bounce out too far. Harrison, Harrison with the shot on net. Brad Wilson beats him to the puck in the corner. Pete keeps it in. Barely. Ian handling the puck. Oh! Short side. Yep, short side. Looks like it squeaked over the pad and under the glove. Just couldn't squeeze it in time. Ian's got a good shot from anywhere. You've got to be ready. Exactly. And we're at 3-2 now in the third. So the game just got a little bit more exciting right now. Peaks picking it up. Novotel's falling a bit back on their heels. But Novotel wins the draw. Friesen, shot, broken up. See Friesen playing very conservative. He's staying up top on the circles. A little early to do that, but one goal lead. You got oh. a great goalie. Gabber goes stick high on Jason. And Jason lets him get away with that. Kind of unneeded, but I guess he was drifting through his crease. <laughs> <laughs> I don't True know. True story. It's like a bit of an overreaction, but let's see. Patrick's father watching in from Vienna. Ah, right on. I wonder if he's as handsome as Patrick. Probably not as fast in the blades. Not anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, he better comment back and say, I am. Here comes Jesse, but he gets broken up by Alistair. Mike Friesen picks up the puck. Cautiously puts it back to Alistair. Surprised by that pass. Bounces it over to Brad, and Brad dumps it in. Christian picks up the puck. Takes a look. Sees Harrison on the boards. Harrison comes in. Brad challenges him. Harrison beats him. Big bounce in front. Puck loose. Mike Friesen picks up a little speed. Comes in. And he's forced out in the corner. Shot on net. On with the big shot. Big Excellent rebound. Shot block there by Christian Pico in the other way. Patrick. Fans or uh, fakes the shot, passes back to John. Bit off the mark there, couldn't convert. And then we have Winnie back with a shot. And we got a stoppage in play. So after the game, we're gonna have a few post-game interviews, a special uh, tribute and in memoriam to Jason Kotzmeyer, who passed away uh, earlier this season. And we'll cap it off with a season recap and closing credits. So stick around. That's right, and just huge shout out to our two young reporters doing the on ice interviews, Cole and Sebastian. You guys are rocking it. Keep up the good work. You're showing us old guys up here what to do. <laughs> no doubt we're about an it. Absolute mess. <laughs> okay, here comes Peak over the line. 
Novotel picks it up. Turns it the other way. And we've got an offside. Michael White. White. Go Peak. Come on, boys. So obviously a, a big minus for Peak here. Michael White not playing. I'm not sure where he is. Maybe at a family obligation. Tell us where you are, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody watching, do let us know where you're calling or where you're watching from. And, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Here comes Peak Dangerous between the legs in. Leo gets beat. We have a 3-3 tied hockey game. Third period, 12 minutes to go. 32, that's Mel on Peak. Oh, sorry, pun on Peak. He's missed a lot of games, but showed up here for the championship. Ferries one through the leg on the right-hand side coming in. We got a 3-3 game. If you're watching, tell your friends to tune in. We got an exciting finish here. There you go. Harrison comes in again. Oh! oh. Bradley's not happy with that. Harrison went for the loose puck. Bradley says that is not allowed. And the ref Harrison. agrees with him. Harrison is going off, the head hung low. You know Slash. what, that's a tough play. It wasn't covered when he started swinging his stick. I think the noise made it look louder than it was. Sorry, yeah. that's not the saying, worse than it was. <laughs> <laughs> the noise made it seem louder than it actually, whatever. Well, I like what Bradley did, <laughs> not letting Harrison get away with that, sending a message. No touchy touchy. Okay, so Novotel on the power play. Chance to go ahead. Jason Bitter in the corner. Passes it up in front. And we have another penalty. Oh, they're both sending of them, them both. One for embellishment and the other for the trip. I believe Not this is Jason Bitter's second penalty of the game. He better be careful. He's better keep his mouth too. shut too, or Christian else he's gonna saying why, but it was a bit of a flop. <laughs> Michael White says they obviously heard me. And Ernst said yes, four hearts. Well, that's because he's saying he's as good looking as his son and as fast. <laughs> I don't know which one it is, so we'll leave that up to the viewers to decide. Michael White, watching on the beach at a monster wedding. I've never seen two monsters get married. That's interesting. <laughs> on the, the Muppet Actually, Show? I take that back. My cousin's a freaking <laughs> ugly guy. And we got Auntie tuning in from Finland. She hey, says, hey, miss Lance, you too, miss Auntie. Buddy. I guess he doesn't notice that Jordan's actually on here too. I miss you too, <laughs> Auntie. Thanks a lot, buddy. The Auntie, ball hockey legend. That's right. Between the length of his arms and his stick, he could reach across half the court. <laughs> so we have uh, nine minutes, ten seconds to go. Three, three. Peak on the power play. Shot on net. And puck over the blue line. Novotel holds on to it. Comes in and we have an offside. Close call there at the line. Novotel on the power play trying to break into the zone. Just to uh, recap you the sequence of events here, we had a 1-1 game, and then Novotel went ahead 3-1. Peak rallied to get two goals, and now they're on the penalty kill. Mike Friesen passes it across to Brad Wilson. Shot wide of the net. Bit of a bounce in that puck there. Couldn't quite tame it before he let it go. We got a stoppage in play. Must have been covered up. Kind of out of our set line. And face off to the side. Penalty almost expired. Last chance. Nothing happening. And Jesse fresh out of the box. Patrick way up. Couldn't quite get the pass. Mike Friesen picks it up. Comes across. Takes a look. Oh, funny bounce. Gabor didn't even move there. He didn't know that was shot. <laughs> no. I thought he was just confident it wasn't going to hit the net. Again, shot on, up. 
Peek picks it up. His PlayStation controller froze. <laughs> Puck over. Nobody there. Harrison passes it out. Puck behind the net. Patrick in the corner. And puck goes out. Yeen's got it. Takes a look. Shot again. Ye Ye er, Leo's able to stop this one. Yeah, don't forget. As it says there, we've got the post-game interviews. Of course, our special uh, in memoriam to Jason Kosmeyer and our season recap and credits. I think my name will be there. Jordan's too. Maybe. Anti forgot me. I think the production crew might too. <laughs> we'll see. Not we have sure a timeout here. here. The ref called a timeout, it appears. Clock still going. They're going to nope. reset it back to 6.45. I think they're trying to decide... If Christian should have came out of the box, but for sure, it was only a two-minute. Or whether both guys should have, so there wasn't a whistle. And here we go. Lining up to the side of the net. Puck dropped. Novotel wins the faceoff. Puck shot around behind in the corner, up the side. To center. Friesen. Shoots right it high. It over the net. I think the peak defensemen are giving him a little bit too much space. Yeah, you don't want that guy shooting. But they kept him well out. Puck offside. That's John Shavnovsky putting himself offside there. President of the league. Oh, Ante remembers me. Thanks. Thanks for the kudos on the play-by-play. -play. Love <laughs> it. Keeping the confidence up. Thank you. Bradley picks up the puck, up along the boards, dumps it in. A little bit dangerous, but wide of the net. Puck on the boards. Peek has it. Continues up along the boards. Loses it at center ice. Pressure from Novotel. And Brad pushes it forward, down into the corner. Mel picks up the puck, passes it across. Hideki looks over. Got Steven Spruill. Passes it in front. Mike Friesen picks it up. Close to opportunity there. Passes it in front. Mike Friesen. Go! That was a cheeky backhand saucer. Mike Friesen to Winnie in the slot, and he buries over the left pad of Gabor. We got a 4 3 game with five minutes to go. Novotel right where they want to be and Pete calls a timeout to regroup and let's see what they can get going here they got to run their horses put their put their big boys on the ice let them skate we'll see five minutes exactly left to go here in Bangkok at the SHL final Siam Hockey League 3-3 three, three score between Peak and Novotel you can see the peak bench there, game plan a bit, getting everybody focused, trying to shake off that goal. And you are watching on ThailandTV.tv. On this demand on Siam YouTube Hockey. as well. If you want to rewatch the game there, perhaps, or if you're watching it there now in the future, uh, t tell us who won. You can see the league banner hanging there in the stadium. We are at Central Plaza Rama 9 in Bangkok, 7th floor. We're Game. high too. <laughs> <laughs> that just might be true. Yeah, actually, I think we're on the 8th floor up in the upper deck here. That's right. Five minutes to go. Novotel wins the draw. Keem has the puck broken up. Hideki's got it. Takes a look. Up to Ed. And Brad just dumps it back in. 
Yeah, it's blue line icing in the SHL, so he's safe to do that. You just got to cross your own blue line before you fire the puck in. Peaks looking a little excited here. Here they come. Ed takes a shot wide. Ryan Yaden puts it in front. Peaks got control. Hideki, shot broken up. Hideki's got it again. Another shot. Big block by. Another huge block by Marcel. Taking that one right in the stomach. That one wasn't across the blue line, so now we have an icing. And if you don't know, an icing means that Novatel cannot change. Nobody snuck off. Patrick Bitt tuning in, saying exciting game. That it is. Jordan's mom. She says, keep going, Novatel. Let's go. Stay Great. hard on the puck. Jeez, look at those hockey mom terms. <laughs> I wonder if my dad told her to write that. <laughs> no, I'll give her some credit. She knows the game. She knows the game. Spent enough time at Riggs growing up watching me play. Close so game three here. minutes left. Very exciting game indeed. Puck just about to be dropped. Little hesitation. Here we go. Novotel wins it again, and Brad chips it out. Gaber Gabor picks it up. Comes out of the crease, so it's no icing. Yeen behind the net, takes a look. Sees Hideki. Hideki comes up. Drops it back. Ed McConnell, shot blocked. Another Bitter to Bill Bredson. High stick. And play still goes on. Hideki's got it. He's got against uh, with Patrick Foster up. Oh, rang it off the crossbar. I think that deflected off Leo's mask. Just hit the crossbar and so out of play. So close. Hot shot. You don't want those guys coming in on you two on two. Hideki and Patrick Forstner, two of the most skilled players in the league, trying to tie the game up here, but Novotel hanging on. Two minutes left. Peek wins the draw. Yeen puts it in front. Puck broken up. Jesse's got it. Broken up again. And puck goes into the corner around the boards. Peek still has possession. Harrison passes it off to Jesse. And broken up. Puck still in. Yeen dishes it off to Harrison. Harrison shot. Bounce. Shot. And Leo blocks it. And puck being uh, frozen behind the net. Jason falling, or Mike Friesen falling down on it. It's a good whistle there by the referee. Novotel just killing time. But it's going to be an end zone face off. Time has stopped because it's the last two minutes. And Novotel is going to call a 30 second timeout here. Just a reminder after the game, we have our post game interviews with Mr. Cole. And we have our memoriam to Jason Coxmer, who was a player in the SHL who tragically passed away this year. Just an unbelievable guy. Not enough great things we can say about him. We miss him dearly. Definitely. And our 2019-2020 season recap with our closing credits. But we have a burn burner here. A uh, minute 43 left to go. Novotel 4 and peak 3. Peaks really turned it on. They've they've climbed up that shot clock to 21. Far cry from the four they had in the <laughs> first period. So expect to see Gabber coming out of the net. Hopefully he'll make a good skate for it. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued they don't pull him now. A minute 43, face off in the far zone. But you do have Marcel lining up against Patrick. Marcel's one of the premier draw yeah. men in the league. Novotel's not stick. shy to shoot it from far away. They'll shoot from everywhere, these guys. That's right. Watch for Yeen to get a pass here and try and fire it on net. Jeremy directing traffic. Let's play hockey. Puck dropped. Novotel wins it. and Or, excuse me, Peak wins it, and Novotel dumps it down. Bit of a rookie play there. He had time to get the line and dump it in. Uh, the clock stopped just the last two minutes, but an emergency clear by Novotel. Never a bad play, but we'll see what happens on the draw here. 
Peek wins it again. This time holds on to it. Puck in the corner. Hideki shot. Big bounce. Novotel carries it out of the zone. Over and dumps it in softly. No mistake this time. Get in the lane. Killing time. Puck in the corner along the boards. Battle for it. Time running out. Here comes Patrick. Shot. Leo, big save. Bad picks up the rebound and tries to dump it out and does. That shot was labeled for the top corner. Leo got his right arm up and deflected it away. Now we're scrumming along the boards. Time is ticking. Empty net now. Peak with possession. Looks like we got the tie line and Jesse out there. That puck just rolled off Jesse's stick. And Novotel gets it oh, out. Oh, it's going into the net. the net. And we have a goal. Marcel Bowens with the clear. Rolls into the net. Or was that freezing? I'm not sure. I, I didn't quite see it. That thing had eyes, though. Dead center. Off the boards. Rolled directly into the net. We got a 5-3 game here with 34 seconds to go. Gabor returning to his net. So it looks like Novotel is about to capture their first championship ever. And that was Mike Friesen icing the goal. And, of course, that's Dom on the mic. The in-house mic announcing all the names, sponsors. What a beauty. Here comes Hideki. Peak not giving up. Harrison in the corner. Can't quite get a handle on the puck. Puts it in front. Shot. Easy stop. 11 seconds left, puck dumped down. Gaber goes into the corner, looks to pass it. And the clock counts down, and we have a new SHL championship, the Novotel Sukhumvit <laughs> 21 Spitfires. Yeah. Fitting, considering that the after party is at Novotel, the hotel better hit those boys up with a bottle, I'd say. Yeah, good call there. Well, great season from both teams. Exciting finish. Not quite the finish Peak was looking for, but they made a game out of it. Yeah, Novotel. it seems that I think if Peak had another 10 minutes, <laughs> yeah, right, they would come back, but ran out of time. Some great saves by Leo at the end. He let in three today, but a couple nice game stoppers I'd say oh yeah especially towards the end there with Patrick coming in and Hideki he had to stand tall and he did don't forget about that one in the second period too where he stretched across oh right the wrong way reached back and oh yeah save it. of the it's game one one I'd say it was too but I'd say Novotel played a fairly consistent defensive game that's just what you got to do with a good goaltender and they capitalized on any puck that was left in the slot. We're sitting here. Novotel is the 2020 SHL champions. And Peak lining up on the other side. Warriors. Everybody's drinking together after. All good. So we're going to go ahead with the uh, trophy presentation and the league MVP. Who do you think it might be? Who do you think? Brad? Or uh, Friesen, perhaps? Could be Leo. They like giving it to goalies. I mean. Yeah, you have one yourself. That's you? right. Oh. So, we'll see. Leo Leo played incredible, but I think Friesen might get it. Oh, how about all those blocked scorer. shots by Marcel? Absolutely. Brad had an amazing series. Just eating minutes. Eating pucks for breakfast, lunch, <laughs> and dinner. So we're awaiting the presentation of the trophy. Well, I guess John and Christian going to be handing the, the trophy, the, the president and the, the vice president. So I'm just curious if they won, like would they hand <laughs> yeah. it to themselves? Or they just pass it, it back and forth. Out? <laughs> A little hot potato. 
a two class sacks. Christian and John uh, just sorting things out. They're not handing the thing over. Yeah, we're so lucky to have this league. All the work that they put into it. Oh, the MVP. Who do you think it might be? Reason. There you go. He put up a lot of points. Well deserved. Always came through in the clutch. Everything kind of happened off a stick for that Novotel team. Yeah. And tonight, you know what? I, I saw he was going on the opportunities he had, but also hanging back at the top of the circles to make sure they were playing a consistent defensive game. Yeah, no doubt about it. Definitely a force. And now I would like to Brad and captain of the Novotel Spitfire. There we go, our Novotel sponsor handing over the trophy to the Novotel captain. Does, does the trophy have a set name? Is it the Oduya trophy? No, no, that's a tournament trophy as far as I know. Um, Okay, this is Jordan signing out. Thank you for joining. Oh, Bradley almost had a spill there. You keep talking. All right. <laughs> I'm still here. You're here keeping his company. Jason Bitter holds the cup up and passes it off to Center Ice. Oh, we're going to get the picture. Okay, boys are going to shake hands. As Peak doesn't want to watch any more of this. Yeah, great season. And? Uh, uh, hello. Uh, this was a very wild game with a lot of comebacks, but at the end, Novotel has won. And over to Cole. Okay, not quite over to Cole. Cole's not quite ready there. And yeah, great season. So happy to be part of the SHL. Uh, incredibly organized uh, league, as, as we've been told, probably one of the best organized leagues in Asia. So yeah, all happy to be a part of it. Yeah, thank everybody for tuning in. We really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the game. Exciting finish. And some things after the game. Yeah, and don't forget to stick around.
pretty happy with it. We'll pr try and bring the level up next little next year, maybe. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Back to you. <laughs>